Welcome to Canadian Creatives, a now digital network series that showcases Canadian designers and thinkers. Our guests share their creative processes, innovative projects, and unique experiences. Here you'll find motivation and inspiration for your creative journey. We'll highlight the diverse careers, collaborations, and communities out there for creatives like you. Now, recording from the heart of Toronto and hosted by creative director Daniel Francavilla, this is Canadian Creatives. Our first guest went from publishing an arts magazine in print to developing a digital catalogue of the world's creativity. Today, one of his goals is to help creatives make a living doing what they love. Clayza.com, a catalogue of creative projects, was developed as a way of easily displaying projects of all disciplines. He loves working with creative people which inspired Project Rhino, a co-working space, and always looks forward to unexpected collaborations. Introducing our first guest, Neil Martin, the founder of Clayza, the catalog of the world's creativity. Cool, so uh, I grew up in Ottawa um, and uh, was always into doing lots of creative things. I studied uh, music and art and acting as a kid. Um, I ended up going to Queen's University, um, majoring in film studies. And uh, I've just kind of always loved working with creative people. Um, and towards the end of university, I ended up founding an arts magazine, or we called it an arts and ideas magazine, um, that we ended up uh, spreading all across Canada, became Canada's largest university magazine. Um, so right after school, I started kind of working with creative people, publishing their work. I found that really, really interesting. Um, that was a few years ago. Um, about two years ago, I came to, ended up moving to Toronto um, to try to, still working on the magazine, uh, wanted to keep expanding that and working on that. Um, and it, we ended up in, you know, encountering some hiccups. Print, running a print magazine is very, very expensive. Uh, so we ended up shutting that down. But I still kind of had this love for working with creative people, kind of helping them promote what they were doing. Um, and so around that same time, we opened up a co-working space called Project Rhino. And uh, so we've been running that for the last two years or so. And from running that co-working space, uh, we learned a lot about not just creative uh, people, but creative professionals. Um, you know, I've always been some, someone who believes very strongly that you should do what you love. You know, but doing what you love and making a living doing what you love are, are two very different things. Um, I hate that. I think that sucks. I, the idea of the starving artist, you know, I would love to kill that. Um, it's an ambitious idea, but uh, but that's so that so that's kind of what drives me, and that's how that's how we got to Clayza is kind of looking at what was going on with the people uh, in our space, you know, freelance designers, um, web developers, filmmakers, that kind of stuff, and looking at you know the, the unique challenges that creative professionals face, and uh, we started to think about some ways that maybe we could solve some of those problems, and and Clayza was was the the child of that. Clayza is a professional website for people in creative industries. Um, a quick, easy way to understand it is, that, you know, think about LinkedIn um, and what LinkedIn is in sort of the white collar corporate world, right? It's a place where you can connect with your peers, um, you know, you get to say the, the work that you've done and your experience and, and essentially connect with work opportunity. Um, one of the reasons it's so hard for a creative professionals or largely creative freelancers to make their living is because creative industries are very, very fragmented. Um, so the first thing that we're trying to do with Clayza is uh, we call it cataloging creativity. So it really comes down to um, taking creative projects. You know, it could be uh, a, f a commercial that was made for television, or it could be a fashion editorial spread that was in a magazine. We're essentially we're starting by taking these projects and mapping out uh, who worked on them and what skills they brought to those projects. Um, so we're keeping it very simple for now, and we're just we built a, a really easy to use platform that allows you to upload your creative projects, credit the people you've worked with and uh, what skills they brought to that project. I get really excited when I see collaboration on Clayza that uh, I don't expect to see, or, or when you see types of people collaborating that, that you don't see every day. So for example, there was a project uploaded recently where uh, a guy had done some really cool typographic images um, where he sort of took phrases and, and designed them um, to look super badass. And then his friend uh, used a 3D printer to basically take those images and create real life renderings of those things. And that project is on Clayza now. And what's cool is, you know, before Clayza, that project would have ended and, you know, it, they, they would have shown it to some of their friends, but then it would have largely disappeared, right? And Clayza is a place where that project can now, you know, that's why we love to say, we like to say live forever, right? This project now lives on Clayza. They've been able to credit who did what on that project. Um, and now that's part of their portfolio. I've always loved creativity. I've never 
uh, prided myself particularly uh, talented at any one creative thing. You know, I've, I, I play music, I've done some arts, I've done some uh, acting, things like that in the past, but I think that I'm, you know, be more, uh, I'm, I'm better at working with creative people than I am at being one. Um, and so I've kind of, whether it was, you know, the first kind of uh, business that we started, which was the magazine, you know, looking for ways to sort of promote what creative people are doing and, and offer them tools to uh, make it what they're doing easier. Um, I find that to kind of be what I'm best at. Um, so when it comes to Klaza, you know, it's really about, you know, how can I, I would love to see a world where, uh, you know, people can just make a living doing the creative things they love and not have to worry about things like how am I going to eat and pay my rent, right? So I think, you know, we're just getting started with Klaza, but that's, that's really what, what drives us is, is we want to build tools to make that easier. We need to create a place where, you know, whether you're a photographer or a model or a hair and makeup artist, um, you know, or a wardrobe stylist, uh, that instead of being on your own niche platform, that you can come together on the same platform. Um, and that was kind of the first set of technological and design challenges that we had to overcome, um, which was just, you know, an interesting challenge for us. Coming up with the name Klaza was kind of an interesting little journey for us. Uh, naming your product is always a huge challenge. And for us, um, you know, we wanted, to, we wanted to come up with something that could sort of speak to creativity in uh, as fundamental a sense as possible. At the time, I wasn't even sure what that meant, um, but because we were trying to build something that was versatile enough for musicians and designers and filmmakers, um, you know, we didn't, I didn't want to come up with a name that would sort of speak to any one industry in particular, uh, which was kind of a challenge, and I started digging through um, some mythology, actually, and sort of stumbled on the idea of clay, um, which is really interesting because, as it turns out, you know, cultures, largely ancient cultures all over the world, have these narratives uh, where humans were made from clay. And every culture kind of gives their own spin on that story, but the idea of us coming from clay in some fashion seems to be ubiquitous throughout the world. Um, so we thought that was a really cool kind of uh, fundamental idea to kind of base a platform around. Um, but now, you know, in, nowadays, a uh, four letter, uh, correctly spelled .com, clay.com, um, is incredibly hard to come by. And we actually reached out to the people who own that domain and they wanted a million bucks. And uh, so we were like, oh, that's, well, that's not going to work. Um, but we really, really liked the idea. Um, so we kind of just started, you know, brainstorming. Maybe we could, you know, put our own kind of spin on it. And uh, we ended up coming up with Clayza. Our mission is to catalog creativity. And that means showcasing creative projects, um, tracking, you know, who, uh, who worked on that project and what skills they brought to it. I think once we can effectively do that and we can create a space where uh, creative people want to be and it's cool and it's easy to use, I think the next phase after that is to start solving some of the more complex problems. So people that, I like to call it the business of being creative. You know, someone who's a creative freelancer is essentially a small business owner, um, but they're probably not passionate about business. They're passionate about design or about filmmaking or whatever the creative thing is that they love. So I think that's that's the, what the future holds for Klaza. Um, we have some ideas about some tools that we can build, some very simple tools to kind of help you. Whether it's you know taking whether it's quoting jobs or you know one of the biggest pains that we hear about is that creative freelancers spend a lot of their time chasing paychecks. Um, that sucks, especially when a lot of the time the projects you're working on might not be that big. So you're putting all this time into chasing you know, a few hundred dollar paycheck, and that sucks for you. You know, so we want to start eliminating things that suck. Clayza.com is C-L-A-Y-Z-A.com. Thanks for joining us on Canadian Creatives. For the show notes, links mentioned, and more episodes, be sure to visit CanadianCreatives.ca. Follow at now Creates and at now Digital Net on Twitter for updates. Canadian Creatives is a Now Digital Network series presented by Now Creative Group. For design, digital, marketing, and media services, visit nowcreativegroup.com.